The first change is this is home screen. The home screen doesn't change a lot like between 2018 and 2019, but actually they have some new features. The first features you can, uh, for example, right now go to Direct Beam 360. In previous version 2020, you're also able to do that, but only if your model already in the Beam 360. And now you can also personalize your um, Revit, so you will just personalize it, after that what you are doing, you are just selecting what you want to um, load inside to the Revit, let's say architecture, you say the structure and whatever you want, if you will say only architecture, and after that you will say I am like a beam manager, now you can just view suggestion what the Revit will give you to you, just start to work and you will see what they, they need. If you will go to the settings, let's go to the settings, here under the file you will find the option, you will see what the changes in the user interface here. You can see like we get uh, some uh, new features, you can still, you can con customize it, you can uns uh, unselect it, whatever you want. But anyway, this is really a great feature, like uh, when you're starting first to work in Revit, you can uh, able to personalize it only for you. Finally, we get Dynamo 2.5. As you can see, this is here not changing anything, but just changing only this icon a bit. Uh, but if you will go to the Dynamo, you will see now Revit have the like uh, native uh, Dynamo have 2.5. As you can see, it re it's here. If you will go to the uh, official websites, you will find uh, all changes about the Dynamo uh, 2.5. Actually, this is a lot of changes. Some some of the nodes not now not working. Some it's uh, rechanging. So you just have a check what they did. Actually, they did really great work, and Dynamo now becoming like a grasshopper. So it can say you can do whatever you want. The third great future, what I found in 2021, this is generative design. Generative design you will find uh, under generative design, yes, now it's uh, independent uh, tab in, under the manage. Here in the independent design you will find this uh, tool. Actually this is not tool, I already making the video, it's called before refinery. So this is refinery, but it's now changing the name, it's calling now generative design for Revit. Anyway. If you want to know how to work in with the generative design or refinery, up to you, you can check my previous video, link you will find below, below this video. We already did some, um, uh, some tour about, uh, overview about this tool. Actually great tool and doesn't change anything, uh, I mean visually, but I should test it what they change uh, between refinery and this uh, generative design. And now, now of the big, great futures in New Revit. You remember how we do the, for, for example, walls like this in previous versions. So yes, of course, we should use the uh, some shape like messing form. Without the messing form, you are not able to create uh, these walls. But now it's time is changed. And finally, we can do the walls without any deform. You just should create some of your walls. After that, you just select your walls and what only you need to do only just saying the this is wall should be the change the cross section to the slanted wall yeah finally now we can say this is 10 degree and we don't need any form right now so we spent like 10 10 years or maybe 20 years to get the slanted walls finally Now let's have a look how it looks like our previous version 2020 Revit. As you can see here, we have like PDF, this is new features in 2020, but uh, we cannot link PDF, we just can load inside to the project. Finally, now we can manage it. If you will go now to the insert, you will find, first you will find PDF link. The first, this is import, and as you can see, we get some new features like a group and get uh, Autodesk content. So if you are, have the license from the Autodesk, of course, you can get uh, Autodesk uh, content without any some uh, additional things. But nice thing, this is PDF link, and as you can see, now you can manage it. So if you will go, for example, to the uh, let's go to the manage here, we will find the manage links. 
you will find here the now independent link PDF. So if you will go back to the 2020 manage and we will go to the manage link, you not will find it here PDF link. So finally, now you can once load inside our PDF and after that you can reload from because now it's able to PDF too, as you can see, reload from. Once you will place it, after that you can replace it without any, any uh, things. The same thing, this is about the images. As you can see, now we can select any images and we can replace it too. So we can remove it, or we can place it instance. So now it's not independent, uh, independent thing like it was before. Because before we used only decode types, as you can see. We're going back to the 2020, here is not able to change our images as you can see here. And now one more thing what we get now in new version, uh, let's go back to the 2020 and you will see in 2020 we have here the uh, architecture, architecture still still, system and here the precast. So we get precast uh, like independent future now in new version so what you need you need just place some cons uh, some structure walls just let's place the some structure walls i will go to 3d to better understand where is the my structure walls it's here and after that going the yes, precast for example split and let's split this wall just select it and as you can see you no need now do any some uh, bad manipulation with the families you will get now it's in the now inside in this uh, structure system so now uh, what i can say now i can say the structures uh, architectures and uh, like MEP can work in Revit without any big problems because now you can do whatever you want in Revit without any other software. And finally now we can switch off, not just deleting, we can switch off our filters. For example you want uh, to switch off your filters, just unenable it here or enable it, up to you. And after that, just manipulate with your, with your visibility. Because before you was, uh, if you wanna, for example, unswitch your um, filter, you should just it uh, remove it. But now you just cannot switch it on or switch it off. It's really great future. The other features in uh, Revit 2021, we have like a small one, but it doesn't mean this is not important one, this is still important one. But there you should uh, go more deeper than right now, it's not just showing to you, uh, hey, here are new features, no. Uh, there I will show you more deeper how it works. Because we have now more changes in families, we have now more changes in annotation, we have now more changes in dynamo. So to go deeper in these topics, I'll show you more detailed view, not like this. This one just preview, 2020 it's able now, you can download it, you can try and don't forget, this is still fresh. It doesn't mean you should switch your project now 2020, no. Wait first hot, hot fix and only after that go to this uh, version. Uh, and if you are working in some high project or commercial project, wait the second hot fix. It, this is my recommendation for you. Okay guys, finish and see you next time and we will go more deeper in 2021, finally we get some new futures right now.